Hey everyone, let's take a look at how I defeated the heroic Gothic the Harvester encounter in the Curse of Nax Ramus. I used a paladin deck created especially for this fight, but as far as heroic modes go, Gothic the Harvester is probably one of the easier ones. Normally, the hero powers of heroic bosses are very, very tough, but Gothic's hero power isn't really something that will cause you too many problems. For one mana on auto cast, every round he draws a card and gains a mana crystal. Now, obviously this sounds very powerful, and it is powerful, but it's not really something that will completely overwhelm you. This is especially true because drawing as many cards as he does, he will very often and very quickly end up without any cards in his deck, and he will start taking damage from fatigue, which is something you can exploit. This paladin deck focuses on self-healing and ways to deal with a very big board. The reason for this is that, thanks to his hero power, Gothic will indeed create a very big board very quickly, and if you do not have viable ways of, of dealing with it, then you will just not be able to survive. There are Doomsayers, there are Wild Pyromancers, there is equality in this deck as far as uh, clearing the board goes, and of course uh, there is pretty much all the healing that a Paladin can get. Mind Control Tech, which I've just used here, as you can see, to quite some uh, success, is also part of this deck and is something that will come in handy very, very often. One thing to note about using Mind Control Tech is that it is a good idea, if at all possible, to eliminate any weak minions from his board before you use it, just to kind of increase the chances of getting a good minion. As you can see, the deck also has Sword of Justice in it, which can be very useful for um, buffing the stats of the spectral minions. In particular, this is important for buffing their attack, because doing so allows you to attack with them and get them killed off so they stop damaging you every turn. Now at this point of the game, uh, things are going pretty well, despite the big difference in health between myself and Gothic. I have several options of what I can do here, and ultimately um, I didn't want to play the Doomsayer, I didn't want to play the Wild Pyromancer, I didn't want to replace my Sword of Dresses with a True Silver Champion, so I just ended up playing the Sun Fury Protector, even though the minions that receive Taunt are really very weak. Now, Gothic pretty much clears the board for me here, and also uh, plays a lot of minions. So this is really a, a very good opportunity for me to use um, Wild Pyromancer and Equality. Yes, in the process of doing so, I waste a charge of Sword of Justice, and um, yes, my buffed Sunfire Protector does die, but I just felt that it was the thing to do. My health certainly could not have allowed me to survive this turn in any other way, so it was pretty much mandatory. And as you can see, the second Sunfear Protector allows me to put up some semblance of a defense uh, just in case Gothic has anything dangerous to throw my way.
I decided to take this opportunity to play Lay on Hands because I didn't really have any other good options and uh, I wanted to take advantage of Gothic's relatively weak board to do this. I decided to go for the very aggressive play here of uh, doing the Blessing of King's trade and then killing one of the minions with my True Silver Champion. Uh, I think another option would have been to play the um, Direwolf Alpha and the Defender of Argus in, in some, some kind of combination, but um, I thought that was a bit too passive. Uh, and the Defender of Argus came in, I would even say, handier here by uh, giving me two taunts on these high health Spectral minions. My for and here, as you can see, I made a mistake. Uh, I don't really know why, but I, I played the Dire Alpha at the side of my board. Uh, I would say that's quite a rookie mistake, but um, it is something that can be solved for the next turn by just playing another minion on the wolf's left. Fortunately for me, Gothic decides to play a flurry of minions here so that my mind control tech can actually come in handy and um, hopefully grab a good minion. Now, there were five minions on the board and there was one that I really wanted to get, which was the 5-5. Five five. The other minions were all right, but the worst minion to get was a crazed alchemist. So I killed one off, trying to minimize the chances of getting a crazed alchemist. And... Well, it worked insofar as I, I did not pick up the Alchemist. I then decided to heal myself even more and ignore Gothic's board, uh, just going straight for him. It is also probably a mistake there not having made a trade with my corrupted minion and just going for Gothic's hero, but not a very big mistake. As far as big mistakes go, however, this one was pretty big. I effectively wasted my Blessing of Kings completely by buffing the Spectral Minion and suiciding it into the Abomination, which in the process took out my 3-2 and 2-2 minions. What I should instead have done was used the 3-2 and 2-2 minions to kill the Abomination because they were dead anyway, and then use Blessing of Kings on something else. Perhaps the fact that I was able to get away with these mistakes is a testament to how forgiving this fight is compared to other heroic modes like Resuvius or the Four Horsemen. At this stage, there really isn't that much to worry about because, um, as you can see, Gothic has no cards left in his hand and um, I have a decent board together with uh, a True Silver Champion to heal myself a bit more. So the worst is over here. At this point, Resuvius runs out of cards, so starting next turn he will, uh, he will begin to take damage from Fatigue, and a single attack from my True Silver Champion is enough to guarantee victory. Because I defeated Gothic so quickly and easily, I didn't really get to try the fight very much or with any different decks, so while it did seem to be quite uh, a forgiving fight, it might be that I was just unusually lucky or that other decks will struggle more. In any case, you should check our written guide for more details on this fight, as well as a few other recommended decks. You will find the link in the description down below. I hope that was helpful, thank you for watching and good luck!